Al Damon, ABC News, The Riverland. The state government says it's still some months away from deciding where to start work on Adelaide's future tram network. The state civil construction sector is urging the transport minister to consider a new and as yet unproven sky rail system to speed up delivery of the $3 billion project. But Stephen Mulligan says any federal funding will be spent on proven tram technology. Rod Hook knows a bit about Adelaide's trams. As a senior state government bureaucrat, he oversaw extensions of the line to North Terrace and the Entertainment Centre. As much as I've loved being involved in rolling them, rolling them out, we're still a hundred year old technology. Now in the private sector, Mr Hook is looking to the future. He's spruiking a Russian technology known as string rail. The idea involves automated carriages travelling on elevated tracks and is being pitched as a low-cost, low-impact alternative to the city's traditional public transport modes. It could be an option to run east-west. You could run from the airport. You could go out Nord Parade. Sky-high rail promises always attract their fair share of ridicule. I give you the Springfield monorail. <laughs> And Rod Hook knows his technology is unproven. We need to demonstrate that it works. I need to demonstrate it's cost effective in Australia. Mr Hook has an agreement to build a 500 metre demonstration track at Flinders University. He's looking for international investors to fund it. Should it succeed, the Civil Contractors Federation wants it considered in place of the planned Adelink tram network, the focus of a half billion dollar election promise by federal opposition leader Bill Shorten. With the SkyTrain system, uh, you might be able to take the network twice as far or indeed build the project uh, in half the time. I think if they can make it work there, then obviously it might have some broader application. But certainly in the funding contribution that we've got from the Federal Labor Opposition, uh, we are certainly keen to use that to expand our existing tram network. The Transport Minister says the government hasn't decided whether federal funds would be used to pay for specific lines on the project or whether it might start building several lines at once. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.